is herd immunity? Herd immunity through vaccination. I'm Dr. Spurthy. Everywhere I go, I hear herd immunity is the answer to the COVID-19 situation right now. But is this really the case? Hi all, I'm Dr. Spurthy and let's find out. The COVID-19 is different from the regular flu because of its longer incubation periods, transmission even during asymptomatic states, and the R0 or the transmission rate is 2 to 4, much higher compared to the regular flu, and it has mutated already. We're still dealing with increasing numbers every day. So what is herd immunity? Herd immunity is when enough people in the community have developed immunity so that the transmission rate is less than 1. For the new coronavirus, herd immunity can be achieved when around 50 to 75% of the population becomes immune to COVID-19. To understand this better, let's look at some other diseases and see where the COVID-19 infection fits in. First scenario, herd immunity through vaccination. This was used successfully in the past, for example, with polio vaccination, where the Indian government did wonders with their targeted approach. The second scenario, herd immunity can happen through disease transmission. For example, chickenpox, which led to the infamous chickenpox party, where parents intentionally exposed their children to the disease in order for the child to develop immunity. Third scenario, measles, which is even more contagious than the coronavirus. 30% of cases have complications. Trying to obtain herd immunity by exposing a whole population to measles would be a dangerous way to cultivate herd immunity. Fourth scenario, HIV that can mutate quickly even in the same patient. Or take the rapidly mutating seasonal flu, which requires a new vaccination every season based on previous strains. Immunity doesn't last long and so herd immunity in such situations doesn't work. So what does this mean for the coronavirus? The virus is unpredictable, has mutated already in just a few months, ICU mortality is almost 50% in some countries, reports of reinfection, relapses, short-term immunity. Further, the lack of a vaccination which will likely be unavailable for at least another 12 months. Letting the disease go rampant will lead to high rates of hospitalization and need for critical care, straining our healthcare capacity past breaking point. This was the strategy that UK adopted initially and was quickly given up. A country like ours will not be able to handle this. Given the case fatality rate, the number of deaths will be in the millions if this is unchecked. This is a huge challenge and might not make herd immunity a very effective strategy for us. So how are we going to control the spread of herd immunity in a safe way, especially in a crowded country like ours, is a million dollar question. By adopting South Korea's approach in increasing testing and aggressive contact tracing, will we be able to control the spread of the coronavirus in a much more manageable way and avoid unnecessary risk to healthcare workers? As lockdowns open and people travel, we will likely see waves of the coronavirus infection until we all develop some form of immunity to it or unless a vaccination or medication is made available to us. The silver lining is that it appears that the majority of the infected people are asymptomatic or have mild disease, which should translate into lesser number of deaths, especially if the curve is flattened successfully. So let's hope for the best, stay safe and I'll see you next time with another video, another topic. Thank you.